Hello everybody, I'm Master Awesome, and welcome back to DLC World of Dreams mod! A mod on Doki Doki Literature Club telling the story of pretty much how the planet is stripped from the MCU's body and rap is happening and well now I guess we gotta see the girls in the club but this is a blind playthrough mostly and I do know some parts but this is a mostly blind playthrough similar to my Super Mario Galaxy playthrough uh yeah I'm gonna be uploading this probably before the finale is uploaded but yeah anyway that's besides the point uh this playthrough ooh, last episode we learned that things are going nuts we hung out with Sayori had a good time with her, hung out with friends after a while of not seeing her after like I'm assuming years, judging by um them she's reaction and everything. Probably been years. We had a hell of a good time, went shopping, bought some books for the club for a year and others. You know this episode we see what's happening and seeing what happens from here and what to expect. So I guess let's go ahead and get to it. But I wake, I wake a few hours later with something coming in from the window. Meiji's mom must have opened it this time. I mean, not a huge surprise, but the clock says 7.12 a.m. And again, I'll be keeping the dialogue on auto. Um, so, yeah. This is the time you woke up. We've got to get to school. Uh-oh. They're going to be late. Nope, not today. Oh, crap. Here we go again. Again? What do... Oh, wow. Are we sick? Oh, uh, wait, what? Once again, I rush to the toilet. Uh. They're still sick? Damn. Damn it, why have to be today of all days? Well, that is a good question, one I don't have the answer to. Wait, couldn't this be a good thing, though? Changing things, I mean? I mean, yes, but at the same time, I mean... Uh, iffy. I don't know. We go to the kitchen. Presumably to grab breakfast or food, I'm assuming. In the corner, there's a note and a couple cans of chicken broth. Uh... Well, yeah, can chicken broth help with sickness and whatnot? Meiji, please boil up some of these and sip on it during the day. Hopefully this will help. Love, Mom. Okay. Wish I got those kinds of notes from my mom. When I was younger. With that woman, what a warrior war. I like her. I grab a mug looking over the see Meiji's mom had put broth in a small pan and left it on low already. Um... Like, already heating it up? I mean, that's nice of her, but... I'm surprised she didn't make porridge. Ugh, that's irrelevant. I mean, why, why why leave the oven on? If your son is sleeping and resting, why leave the oven on? Or, like, are you sure he's gonna wake up on time? I mean, she's lucky this time, but like, still. Put some more broth in the mug. There's so many variables here. Today was the story that tricks you into joining her club. She's going to bribe you with cupcakes. Uh oh. Cupcakes. Dang. So maybe tomorrow's the day? Oh. My mouth water doesn't mention the cupcakes, but it's quickly countered by a rumbling in my stomach. Ooh. Something. Yeah, hungry. There's nothing we can do about it. There's nothing we can do about it, right? I mean, I'm pretty sure there is something. Let me turn up the game volume for you guys. We're sick. We can't do anything about it. Verbal rings. A muffled voice calls out. Who? Sayori. Hey, Meiji, are you in there? Hurry up, or we'll be late. I mean, you're gonna be late either way. You're usually late, so I'm just. I mean, it's gonna happen. I the door opening, I peek out, so waiting there expectantly, bag in hand, and jogging in place like she's ready to run on a moment's notice. <laughs> she's ready to go. Also, I'm feeling better, guys. Last episode, I was feeling sick under the weather. It's been a while since that. I mean, last episode was eight days ago. These, ep these episodes for this series are recorded live. These are not pre-recorded. These are recorded live, so I'm feeling much better. So I'm feel starting to feel more like myself again. Oh, are you okay? Yeah, I guess we're telling Sarah we're sick. But I feel terrible when I'm not contagious. I just need a day to let whatever's inside me pass. I'm sorry I won't be able to walk you to school today. Oh dang. Dang. That's sad. That's sad. Or... No. 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 I was gonna say down bad, but it's not a down bad, but... No, no, it's okay. You're focused on getting better, alright? I'll stop by when club is over. I will. After I finish this broth, I'm off to rest. Alright, get better soon, hear me? We will, we'll try. I will take care. We do. We'll try and take care, we'll try. No guarantees, but we'll try. So it makes our way down the hill. Head back inside, rinse off the mug, and place it next to the pan. Let me guess, you're gonna go and like take a nap or something? I mean, that's what I'd do. I'd go take a nap, watch the TV or something. Well, since we have some time, we can finish those specials and the OVA, but then we should come down here for the rest of the day. Sounds like a good plan, honestly. 
I mean, seriously, I just watch TV, leave a movie on or something, leave it playing in the background while I would sleep. That's how I, that's how I deal with sickness, honestly. That's how I dealt with being sick before, like a week ago. Even just a few days ago, I was still sick. I head back upstairs to my laptop and proceed to spend the next couple of hours watching the specials and the OVA. On OVA. On the day, I see it's around 9.30 in the morning. The little bit of broth I'd had isn't sitting well, so I rush to the toilet again and do what needs to be done. Aw, oh, damn. That sucks. That sucks. That sucks a lot. Not bad, man. I just, that's rough. That's rough. After cleaning up, I turn off my laptop and grabbing the scuba, I carry downstairs to the couch along with a blanket. Honestly, good idea. That's a solid idea. Usually, I'd, I would just lay in my bed and take a nap, but, or just sit on the couch and watch TV in my living room, but I give us a situation on the couch and after grabbing another mug of broth, sit down. You can sleep if you want, or you can read with me. I would decide to sleep. I mean, I don't feel like reading. I would sleep. I pulled the first issue of Parfait Girls and turned to the first page. Hey, that's why Natsuki likes reading. This is manga. No way I'm gonna sleep. But if you pull out that other book, I'm sleeping. <laughs> uh, fair enough. I read slowly so Mage you can get the plot as well. Oh, I like the music. Starts out as a typical cutie slice of life. The four girls were all friends who enjoyed a love of cooking and baking. Really, all of them liked cooking and baking? I thought that was Natsuki's thing. But while their tasty food differed considerably, one thing they all agreed on was that parfaits were the superior dessert and they thoroughly enjoyed making them together. Okay. Now what? Mm. Now what? In the last year of high school, these four girls left their respective clubs and decided to start the cooking club up again. And how'd that go? How'd that go? How's starting a cooking club up again go? The volume ended with the four girls looking over their new club room, one of the school's auxiliary kitchens. Must be fancy that it's calling it auxiliary. Ooh, this manga is good. I wish for the second volume, but my stomach has other plans. Damn, again? Damn, not bad, huh? When I get back, I fill the mug up again and sit back down. Is it that bad? It's that bad? Thought so far? I'll be honest, it didn't look like something I'd normally read. I'm more into action in Isekai, but this looks interesting so far. Just slice of life is kind of relaxing. I mean, I get you there. I get you. But seriously, like, being that sick? Yikes. For me, I just had a runny nose and just coughing, sneezing. I have less. Of, I don't really have a runny nose now. I'm feeling way better, but reading this book, reading that book. Wait, isn't did he say portrait of Markov? He did. So just a portrait of Markov. Oh, uh, I think I know why. I think I know. Wait, why are you so insistent on reading the book? It's a book he really enjoys, and we need to make friends with all of them. Same with Parfait Girls. It's important manga to Natsuki. I mean, that's true. That is very true. I don't exactly like the idea, but fine. You might not like it, Meiji, but it is necessary. I have a somewhat basic idea of the story, but wow, the story is good. Is it a portrait of Markov? The main character in the book, named Fujiko, was a high school girl who, after the disappearance of her father, finds out that she has a twin sister who lives in a smaller rural town in Hokkaido. Interesting. That is pretty interesting, to be, to be fair. The first scene was of her inner thoughts while she took a bullet train from the Sapporo airport to a small town called Yuna, where she is greeted by her younger twin sister named Masei. Okay. Interesting. You know, maybe I should click it along, but at the same time, <laughs> I'm trying to make sure the capture stuff is fine. But even in the first chapter, I imagine Yuri as the protagonist, I can easily picture of her being like that. Yeah, it's fair enough. I mean... Yuri does give us the book in the original game, so it only makes sense. Who goes worrying about the entire train ride there, how to best introduce herself to the sister she never knew she had. Honestly, I'd say just be yourself. Just say your name, just be yourself. In contrast, Masei was very upbeat and friendly, acting more as an older sister to her new sibling. Ooh, interesting. The town they lived in had one school that catered to every grade from elementary to high school, one small library, a few small restaurants, and one grocery store. Okay, and my gloves keep falling off my face. I'm trying to keep them up. You know what? Let me just... Let me let me try and keep my glasses up on my face. I'm actually exploring the town one day. A car driving away from a bunch of police cars ran into a pole near her. Uh-oh. 
That's not good. An older woman got out and stumbled over to Fujiko, muttering something about a third eye before clutching at Fujiko's shirt, leaving a bloody handprint on it. Oh god. Oh god. That's... I don't know how to feel about that, to be honest. I don't know how to feel about that. The police officers asked her what the woman said, but Fujiko was too traumatized to speak, only shaking her head. I mean, that's pretty fair. That is pretty fair. Like, if someone with a bland just comes up to you and talks about third eye, that's weird. After she calmed down, she said the woman didn't say anything other than something about a third eye. Odd. Very odd indeed. The police officers let her go at that point. I look at the clock and it shows that it's just past 11 in the morning. Man, the music is so nice. Like, low key, the music is so damn nice. So nice. Why don't we take a bath? Agree. Great. But first, I grab my laptop again. I take it upstairs and place it in its hiding place, charging underneath the desk, underneath an old bag. Okay. I then head downstairs. With Meiji's help, I set up the bath and warm water begins filling the tub. It doesn't matter taking a bath, I mean, I imagine baths may help with being sick, I have no idea to be honest, but... While the tub is filling, I grab my phone and Bluetooth speaker, put on some soft Japanese music, and lay down in the bath. When the tub is full, I turn it off and lay there, eyes closed. Ten minutes pass. So, what's the plan now? That is a good question. What is the plan now? I'm not sure. Right now, I just want to get through today. I'm not sure what's going to happen. I'm a, and I'm a bit scared. Wait, scared of what? Wait, what, what, what are, I guess, we scared about? <laughs> no, scratch that. I'm scared out of my skull. About what? Alright, dude, calm down. We can get through this. You've been helping a lot, so let me try and help you. I mean, that, that's a good point. That's a good point. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. Or in this case, I scratch your back, you scratch mine. I'm sorry, I just have no idea how to handle the situation. The entire first day of the game won't happen now because of my foolish mistake in eating that. Ooh, you don't know that for sure. You don't know that. Could still happen, just on a different day. Stop! <clears throat> Whoa, I almost heard that. He sighs. You didn't do anything wrong. You're telling me to reconnect with Sari, and, well, I'm not sure I would have done everything you did. You've been acting as much like me as possible. True. Who knows, maybe that's needed. Maybe that's needed. <laughs> Thanks for that. I feel a bit better. Not physically, but I feel a little bit more prepared. Good, so what are you thinking about? I would say he's probably thinking about the club and how the game's gonna go from here. But man, I don't know. I'm wondering if the scene from the first day will go similarly if we go to the club a day or two later. I mean, probably. If it does, all I'm missing is a day, but I don't know if Monica already knows where she is now or not. What do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean? Like Monica being aware? Here's the thing, on the first day, Monica assigns the club, to, uh, the club a task to write poems to share. Okay, go on. Since it's a dating game, all the player does is choose 20 random words that can, that can appeal to Sayori, Yuri, or Natsuki. Yeah, we've all played Doki Doki Literature Club. Third is to actually write poems. Monica's poem on the second day kind of implies that she knows that her world is nothing more than the game. Oh. I forgot about that. I don't know if she knew it was a game from the start, or if she discovered it between the first and second day. Wait, only the three? Why wasn't Monica there? Was she playing piano or something? She doesn't have her own route. Oh yeah, that too. <laughs> I forgot about that. Monica doesn't have her own route. Yeah. Only the three girls have their routes. But well, well, why? We'd have to ask the creator. Honestly, this is a story that made me the most upset. Don't get me wrong, I feel like the other girls struggles and I'm not belittling them, but Monica, she feels this happiness just as much as the others. That's fair. That's fair. She might have gone through some tough crap and done some crazy stuff, but she deserves happiness too. 
Ah, uh, now I see. I can almost feel a smirk. What? So you're going after Monica, aren't you? Oh, is he? Is he? Not that it's any of your business, but now that I'm here, I'm not gonna neglect her. I don't wanna neglect any of them. I don't want- I don't wanna see them die. I mean, that is a good point. That is a pretty damn good point. Definitely wanna see them die. I hit the side of the tub angrily. Okay, calm down, Buster. Like, I really handled when they died on the screen. I think- I think I'd break down if I saw it in real life. Yeah, true. Though this isn't real life, it's just it's a game that you got pulled into. So technically, real life is on the other side of the screen. Wait, 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 wait. Let's go back to history. So, do you always get like this when you're sick? And not always, but how'd you react if you knew what was gonna happen in the next couple days and only had one chance to change things? That is also a good point. That is a good point. I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd react crazily. I don't know, honestly. I'd be very worried. I can't say I understand completely, but I do get why you're nervous. Luckily, you're not alone. I may not know much about this game, but I can try and help however I can. Well, I'm sure Meiji can help quite a bit. I'm sure he'll be able to. I am certain. And w if what you say is right, we can try and get Monica's help. Yeah, probably. I certainly hope so. I would hope so, too. The two of us lay there for a half an hour in silence, listening to the music. And hey, I listen to the game's music right now. I can turn it up to full. Turn it down a little bit. Make it very quiet on my end. Yeah, I can... Me changing the game volume isn't changing in the recording right now. Only if I change it in OBS, but... After using the toilet again, I head back out the living room, blah, blah, blah. I don't know about you, but I'm too tired to read anything. He's constantly throwing up his tiring out this body. I mean, if I were constantly throwing up as well, I would also be very tired. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't be feeling okay. I turn the music again and lie down. The couch is incredibly comfortable, and I find myself quickly drifting into unconsciousness. Well, that sounds nice. I would love to. I would love to fall asleep. I'm kind of tired. At the same time, I'm recording a video, so... One wake later, no dreams. That's unusual. I normally have dreams whenever I'm sick. Oh boy. It's a bit weird. Oh crap. Once more once more into the breach. After I'm done, I come back and lie back down. Damn. Damn. Meiji wakes up. Hey, we okay? I mean, I would hope so. That sandwich really messed us up. Ugh, this sucks. It really does. More rest than... I'd assume probably. Yeah. As I thought. I on and close my eyes again. Yeah. The music is still going and soothing me. I'm just about to sleep when someone opens the door. Uh oh. Uh oh. Someone walks in. Who? Wait, who? Did Major's mom come, ba come back early from work? Nah. Nah. Be quiet. Sayori, what the hell? Wait, what? He's probably still asleep. Wait, don't tell me. Did she bring the club members to him? Did she bring the club members to him or like... What's going on? No idea. Let's listen. Wait, what? Are you sure about this? He looks exhausted. Do you think it was a good idea to come here? She did bring the club with her, didn't she? She brought all the club members with her. This voice sounds more mature and deeper. It couldn't be. Heard it? It is! It's Yuri! Where do I put these? Who her voice, that harsh whisper, has a higher, cutesy sounding voice. Natsuki, calling it. Natsuki, Yuri, she brought them to the house! Put them in the kitchen, I'll show you where. She brought the club to him, damn. What a move. Three pairs of feet walk past me into the kitchen. Wait, only three. I've got a sneaking suspicion on where the owner of the fourth pair is. Or the fourth person? Mm -hmm. I gently opened my eyes. Well, what the hell? No doubt about it, that's definitely Monica, and she is giving a very weird look, to say the least. She's way too close. I mean, wouldn't you like it that way? <laughs> I moved back only to hit my head against the couch's armrest. Oh, oh, oh that hurts. 
Especially if it's a hard armrest. Yikes. Ow, damn it. You okay? Uh, yeah, I just startled us all. Startled now having a migraine. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Jesus son. I didn't mean to startle you. I'll be honest. The green text box with the text, that is hard as fuck to read. I read the back of my head as I sit up. That's hard as fuck to read. Ugh, no, it's not your fault. Sayori, get in here! <laughs> that sounded angrier than I meant than I meant it to sound. I did it though? Did it? Oh, Meiji, you're awake! Uh, yeah. Are you okay? Are you feeling any better? Uh, not really. Not really. I'm a bit confused right now. What's going on? That's a good question. You brought the club to him. What is going on? <laughs> well... Sorry, what's going on in there? Uh, um, someone's in trouble. We are two girls walk in. I've seen Yuri already, but who's the blonde girl? That's Natsuki. They have all different hair because of World of Dreams, one out of that. Wait, the ribbon's on her head, and the twin tails find her flat, um, posture. Yeah, we'll call it that, we'll call it that. Natsuki's a blondie? <laughs> I turned to Sayori slowly. Yeah, he's used to the girls having, like, Yuri having purple, Natsuki having pink, and Sayori having pink hair as well. Um, well, I wanted to get you to join my club today, so I was going to invite you, but then you got sick. That is a good point. That is a good point. So now, she brought the club to him. Interesting. I was wondering how this was going to play out. I can wait for you to meet the club, though, so I brought them here. <laughs> of course. Well, I did not expect this from Sayori. To be fair. To be fair, neither did I. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, ex precisely my point. This is an unexpected move for her. It's too aggressive. Uh, well, that's Sayori for you. She can surprise you. Meiji, be mindful. Let them make the first move. I guess, see how it plays out? Like chess? See how it plays out? So you brought them here instead. Are you mad at me? I uh, uh, kinda sort of not really. I sigh, I rub my eyes a bit, then look back up at her with a smile. No, I'm not mad at you. You're my bestest friend. Even if I was, I couldn't stay upset for long. And that is a good point. That is a good point. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna click it myself now. Uh, are we bothering you? No, it's alright. I slowly sit up. Um, it's a pleasure to meet you all. I'm choosing Meiji, you sir, his neighbor and best friend. It's a pleasure to meet you. He starts telling us nothing but good things about you during club meetings. Seriously, Sayori? The sick boy is who you choose? So much for a nice club atmosphere. You told me the other girls were this cute dude? I mean, wow. Huh? That's strange. What is it? The fact that these incredibly cute girls showed up to my house? Well, that too, but I'm at the conversation. It's nearly identical to the way it goes in the original game. Alright, let's see how it goes. I don't add on the mages following the script a bit too. Better keep an eye on that. You can ignore her when she gets moody. There's the quiet into my ear. <laughs> of course you do, Sarah. Of course you do. I mean, that's kind of. Yeah, I can't expect that. Anyway, this Murray Motor Natsuki from Class 3C always full of energy. <clears throat> you have to clear my throat. I'm still, uh, still a little, a little sick. This is Yoshi. Did I almost say Yoshaki? Oh my God! I, I butchered that. Yoshika Yori from class 3E. Why why are you saying what class they're from? We don't we don't need to know. What is it? Maybe it's just me, but Yoshika san kinda of seems like the type who has a hard time keeping up with people like Sari Mur Muramoto san. She does, but don't take any loss of her. She's extremely intelligent and we're gonna need her help up to see if we can let you take control for a bit. I didn't know her club president is Santa Monica from class 3D, right? 3D? Really? Of course she has that classroom. <laughs> yes, it is nice to see you again, Shizu san. Sorry again about the head. Are you okay? Does this hurt still? Well, that's new. No, it's not hurting as bad as before, and don't be sorry, it wasn't your fault. Smell back at her, my hearts are really going doki doki right now. She really is very beautiful. Wow, of course, of course. Freaking course, dude. Honestly, though, this is a thumbnail shot. I'm not gonna lie, this is a bitter hate thumbnail shot. I'm not gonna lie. I'm just gonna go ahead and select it, and ba bam. There we go, okay. I literally just took a screenshot, but... Wait, you guys know each other? We were in the same class last year, but we didn't really talk, like, ever, right? Wow, apparently they didn't even talk much, well... <laughs> hardly ever. Wow, yeah. that explains it. But we're going to have to fix that. Exactly, we're going to fix that between all the girls. Uh, man, do you feel well enough to have some cupcakes? I mean... Cupcakes any day of the week, am I right? Why not? Why not? But I hit in my stomach, taking a deep breath. Ooh, yeah. 
Probably not. You know, I do feel better than before. A cupcake does sound good. Are you sure, though? Are you sure about that, buddy? Are you sure about that, buddy? I've only had chicken broth today. I mean... Eat, uh, uh, I can't argue. I just... I... I, I got an argument, an argument against that. None. None. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Exactly, sorry. Exactly, got a little too excited. Precisely the point. Okay, I'm gonna test the mic quality now between this and before. I'm using it. It's okay to make some tea as well. It might help you feel better. Who knows? Maybe it will. Maybe it will help us feel better. Maybe. I'm hoping the mic still sounds good for you guys. Hopefully. I'm hoping so anyway. Hoping the mic still sounds just fine for y'all. So, hopefully. So, who knows where all tea stuff is? We haven't moved it since she was last here. Okay. Noise. Oh, of course you can. So, knows where our tea set is. Does she, though? Does she, though? Does she, though? Thank you, Jesus, and Welp, alone with Monica. <laughs> alone with Monica, gonna get frisky. What should I ask her? I was kidding, by the way. Hmm, I've got it. <clears throat> so, Asano, I'm curious. How come you decide to make a new club? You're pretty talented already. Damn, already, like... What's the word for it? Already flirting with her? Damn. You'll be a high-ranking member of any of the major clubs of school. Weren't you pretty high up in the debate club last year? Yes, but just like the original game, she mentions how she's one in all politics and stuff and she wanted something else. Monica sits, sits a respectful distance away on the other couch. Well, if I'm honest, I hate big club politics. Ex what did I tell you? What did I tell you? Precisely my point. Precisely my point. She picks up Portia Markov and looks over it nonchalantly. While I was in that club, there was nothing but arguments on budgets, publicity, and preparing for events. Whereas the literature club, I'm guessing, is far different. Don't get me wrong, the debating part of the club was fine and all. Okay. But I wanted to form something based around something I enjoy and try to make something special out of it as well. Oh, that's wholesome. That's sweet. That's sweet. Just like what she said in the original Doki Doki Literature Club. Literally just like what she originally said. And if that encourages people to get into literature, then I'm already making that dream into reality. Exactly, Monica. Precisely. Precisely. Subtle. Subtle, Monica. Really subtle. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Seems like she knows already. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Hold on. Then I'm already making that decision, making that dream into reality. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, I think Monica knows. She really promises that about, yep. Monica definitely knows. Well, that's certainly an admirable, that's certainly an admirable goal. Definitely. So I said you're a great leader, and from what I've heard of you, and remember about you from last year, I believe it. I mean, that's a fair point. That's fair. How come your club doesn't have any- uh, doesn't have more members? I mean... That's... <laughs> that's funny. I mean, I get you're still kind of new, but I thought there were more people in our school into literature than just the four of you. Oh well, yeah, but not everyone's interested in joining a club that's based on reading and literature and all that. As you'd probably say. Well, you have to understand, not many people are willing to put in the effort to start something brand new. Well, that too, but also, the whole literature aspect, reading and all that, not everyone is interested in that type of thing. Especially with something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. What did I say? What did I say? What did I freaking say, bro? It's a lot of work trying to convince people that you're fun and worthwhile. Sorry if the mic got quieter there, but... Let us make school events like the culture festival that much more important. I'm hopeful that we can grow this club before we graduate. True. True that. True that. Honestly. You know, I'm just gonna sit back here from now on. I'm just gonna sit back here in the camera. Why not? Admirable, and I hope that dream gets realized. Mr. Natsuki walks back in, tray in hand. Let me guess, full of cupcakes? Let me guess, full of cupcakes. Yup, I freaking knew it. You have no idea. I give Monica a sideways glance. Oh, oh. I can almost see a flirtatious rising of her sh- Oh my god. Okay, buddy. Okay. Alright. Wow. That's the list to foil off the train. You know what? To make it better, especially for face cam and stuff, but I didn't see the cupcakes. 
In the game, they are described as cats, but the craftsmanship I see is beyond anything any normal high school senior can make. It's kind of crazy, not gonna lie. That's kind of quick. Crap, crap, crap. Uh oh. I meant to grab face cam. Okay, some cells are soft and white, with the multicolored frosting having been poured on expertly. I mean, that is Natsuki for you. That is Natsuki for you. She does things expertly. The image of cute kittens were probably painted on with some sort of brush made for that purpose. Probably. Not gonna lie, probably. And when I'm gonna move face cam up, I, I'm trying to move it to a spot where it doesn't really block anything. Though that's really a struggle right now. That's really a struggle. Wait. Wait. I think I got it, guys. Doesn't like the dialogue. Let's go. It may be smaller, but oh well. I know that you were this good at baking, Natsuki. Whoa. She's not good at baking. Who knew? <laughs> well, you know. Just for even take one. I didn't make them to be staring at all day. That's a good point. That's good. They're made to eat. They're made to be eaten. Cupcakes are made to be devoured. Cupcakes are good. If they have frosting on them, no thank you. If they don't have frosting, perfect. For me personally, I don't like frosting. I just don't. I don't know what it is. It's too sweet. I go and look, then look over at Natsuki, who's sneaking glances in my direction. Just like the original game. Is she waiting for us to take a bite? Well, you may as well take a one. Yeah, she is. You have to play her nose. The player knows everything. He knows everything, literally. I make a show of looking over the cupcake. You know, this cupcake is pretty professionally made. How long have you been baking, Muramoto san? How long, Natsuki? How long? Decade? Five years? Long enough to know how to make good pastries. I mean, that, that's true. Fair enough. Fair enough indeed. I finally bite down. And yeah, I kind of wish I had left, left face cam in the bottom corner here from the beginning. But the game did not do this justice by a long shot. Really? That good, eh? The cookie itself is light and fluffy, but not overly sweet like some are. The frosting. Oh, I hate this cliche, but in this case, melting in my mouth is a perfect description. I mean, if it works, it works. The chocolate vanilla flavors don't clash, but blend well with each other. Wow, fascinating. I don't know why I keep on moving the mic around. I guess because I just, yeah, you know. I just like moving the mic around. I don't know why, but suddenly what? Crap, I forgot to read that. Well, I might come. Be careful, dummy. Slow down. As much as I place the as I place the paper wrapping down carefully. Hold on. Suddenly, whenever I'm hungry, I might devour it very quickly. Oh, damn. You're that hungry? Damn. I haven't had much to eat today, only the broth that mom left me this morning. Damn, so you're gonna devour all the cupcakes? All the cupcakes, you're just gonna devour them. Damn. I grabbed an apple from the small stack that Sylvia had brought in and wiped my mouth. Wow. I don't think one is enough for me for now. I hope it's okay if I take a few for later. I mean, I may as well savor the food. May as well savor everything. May as well. Do what you want. It's not like I made them for you or anything. I've definitely heard this before, and so have we, so have we. Made them for you anything? Yup. Freaking. We know these lines of dialogue. We know this dialogue from the original game. But you're right. She is a classic Sundare. That's some impressively weird logic she has there. It is. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hold on, guys. Told ya. I'm gonna be fast. I'm looking at these gracious offerings to my poor wounded stomach. Oh. I'm back. Oh, God. I'll take two more. Bro, that's a lot of sugar. A ton. He returns carrying a tea set. Here we are. I don't drink tea very often, but I feel like I'd like tea if I had it again, honestly. I feel like if I had tea again, I would like it. I'm surprised, though. The tea set is nearly identical to the one we keep in the club. Is it? Oh. It's a bit older than the one in the club, but the design is almost identical. Huh. A winky dinky? I think not. Oh, that's quite a coincidence. Like I said, a winky dinky, I think not. A winky dinky, I think freaking fucking not. Hold up, you keep all these in the club room? I don't know what I'm doing, to be honest. I'm going crazy. Oh, yeah, the teacher gives permission to keep us set in the room. Again, same let's dialogue as the original Doki Doki and even Doki Doki Within, I want to say. I want to say even Within did this. I want to say. I don't know if you've heard, but I want to say Within also did this. Let me put on my headset. Headset time, baby. Headset time. Let's go. <laughs> Don't tell yourself. Don't let yourself get intimidated. You're just trying to impress you. Oh, really, Monica? Is she? Is she? 
Is Mario trying to do impress us or are you? I'm not intimidated. I am impressed, though. I give you a kind smile. Eh, <laughs> that's not... It looks away looking a bit ins... Damn. Insulted? Damn. I mean that, you know. Okay, honestly, I'm kind of hurting my ears <laughs> with having the headset on as well, I'm not gonna lie, but it's alright. I do enjoy a good cup of tea, and I'm sure my stomach could use it too. I'm glad. I mean, hey, if you're happy, I'm happy, right? It's been saying. Especially today. We're not bothering you too much, I hope. Eh, not really. No, not at all. I'm feeling better than I did. If all goes well, I'll be at school tomorrow. Nice. I forgot this is how they met in World of Dreams. I forgot this is how, um, I guess Meiji and the player meet the club members. This is normal. Not normal at all. Four girls willingly coming over to a sick boy's house? Not normal. I mean, I agree with you, Meiji. I agree with you, but, but, I mean, I'm not, I'm not surprised Terry came over, but why these other girls? Not that I mind, but still. I mean, hmm. You know, I'm not gonna get weird like that. I'm not gonna be weird like that. No argument here, but then again, this is supposed to be a dating sim game. True. Exactly. My gloves keep falling off my fucking face, and I'm getting sick and tired of it. They keep on falling my damn face, and I'm kind of fucking annoyed. Not gonna lie. I wouldn't be surprised if their affections to- Ah, uh, fuck. What did that say? Uh, no argument here, okay. I wouldn't be surprised if their affection stats are higher than the normal humans. Huh. <laughs> Either that or the script had to improvise. When you're as important as you, I take a cup, blow on it, and sip. The taste isn't too strong, it feels soothing as it flows down my throat. Oh, really? Is it now? Is it now? Mm -hmm. Ah, that really hits the spot. Thank you. I'm just gonna say Yuri. Thank you, Yuri. Ah, uh, think nothing of it. Oh, by the way, there's no need to stand to stand on ceremony, ceremony with us. What does that mean? So we got right to call everyone by their first names. Oh, yeah. I forgot because it's a Japanese language they're speaking. Not mine. Natsuki, don't be rude to a sick person. Exactly, Natsuki. Thank you. Thank you, Monica. Monica, thank you. Natsuki, fuck you. I'm kidding. I'm half kidding. But Monica, thank you. You can all call me by my first name too if you want. You don't have to. I'm just saying. It's optional. Monica and Natsuki go to grab another cupcake, but Yuri looks at me curiously. Why? Something on your mind, Yuri? What, is she, is she attracted to us? Does she want to ask us out on a date? Uh, my apologies, I was just I'm curious as to your literary interests. I mean, I don't read many books. I mean, I read some manga. I read some horror on the side. Not me, the, the player. Me, personally, I don't read very often. I'm not going to lie, guys. The only stuff I read, as of recently, is textbooks for college class, and that's it. And I'm fucking not reading the dialogue when I should be, because this is a video I'm recording. My apologies, okay. You need to indicate to the books on the table, I assume you read manga for a long time, and I still do. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Wow. What a crazy, okay. However, I've read a few other things as well. Oh, really? Oh, really? Wait, so seriously, I read Sense and Sensibility if just for a change of pace. Okay. Interesting. Okay, let me turn up the game volume a little bit again, because I feel bad having it so low. I feel like you guys could barely hear it, but I guess we'll see in editing. I hold a par portrait of Markov. I've already read a bit into it. It's a good read so far. Yeah, it's the book that Yuri would have gotten you. Damn it. That's the book Yuri would have gotten you in the game. I also read some of J.R.R. Tolkien's Middle Earth fantasy books, and even read C.S. Lewis's Chronicles of Narnia and his Space Trilogy. Damn, that's a lot of reading. I mean, hey, Narnia, that's a good book series. Narnia's good. I read Narnia, I even watched the movie on it. Um, personal time and for school. Yeah, Narnia's good. Chronicles of Narnia's good. How about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. And... And, my favorite series of novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. Okay. Hi. Hi. You mentioned Tolkien earlier. His books are long-time favorites of mine. Okay. I mean, I know Tolkien. I think I've read, like, one or two of his books. But, the level of creativity and craftsmanship he put into that world amazes me to no end. Well, that's cool. That's cool. 
Same with other books with similar world building. Huh. What would impress me more about that book series is how he was able to tell such a human story without within such a vast world. I do like those kinds of books, which really immerse you into the world and they like attune to like a real kind of world immerses you and kind of talks from like the character's point of view. I love those kinds of books. But I agree, even in manga, there can be complete complex worlds and bleh. I've been taking a stab at creating my own world and I've come to respect those who do it a lot more. Oh, really have you. Really have you now. It takes a lot of intelligence and foresight. It does indeed. It does indeed. Yuri nods in agreement. But you know, I like a lot of things. Oh, such as? Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. I bet the mic is probably cutting out whenever I'm like, as well. Whenever I just stutter or just take pauses in talking, I bet the mic probably cuts. But it's pretty amazing how an author can take advantage of the reader's lack of imagination and throw them for a loop. Honestly, that is very interesting. I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Coincidentally. <laughs> Here it picks a portrait of Markov. <clears throat> this one is one of my favorites. Well, don't spoil it for me. Yeah, don't spoil it, Yuri. That's not nice. <laughs> I won't. Better not. Personal experience of a book without knowing the plot is always the best. Honestly, true. I mean, if you know the plot, what's the point of reading it? If you know the plot, what is the point of reading it? I mean, it's good to know the plot, but like, don't spoil it, because there was no point in reading it. But wait. Yeah, I'm not being able to read shit. Oh, I didn't expect that from you, Yuri. Wait. Especially someone as gentle and caring as you. This story makes me think of taking another world, and I really can't put it down. Well, I mean, I can agree on that, to be honest. I can agree on that. Sir horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Dun, 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 dun. Also, let me know in the comment section, guys, if you want this series to be 20 minutes or even an hour long, let me know. But as opposed to physical horror, I mean, that makes sense. Those types rely on cheap scares. Exactly. Oh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Yeah, why is that, Natsuki? Well, I just... Why, eh? Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second, almost as if she's asking for backup. Well, give her some backup, then. Give her some backup. I get where you're coming from, Natsuki. I'm just gonna... I don't care what it says. I'm just gonna say Natsuki. It's easier. I have a love-hate relationship with horror. Honestly, same here. I love horror. Sometimes I hate it. Sometimes I don't like it that much, but it depends. Anytime I watch anything related to horror, I have to sleep with the covers over my head for fear of the monsters I know are not there. Uh, that's not me, but... Mm. Mind and emotions are two different aspects of the human psyche. True. True. We know that ghosts and monsters don't exist, but our emotions tell us otherwise. Exactly. And our brain makes up the facts and imagination that monsters are real and that are going to come after us. So, even though I still find myself drawn to horror when the mood strikes me. Exactly. Well, except for the acting like a kid part and hiding under the covers. Wow. Wow. Thor throwing us under the bus, Natsuki? Wow. That's why I usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? Oh, damn. Calling her out like that, Monica? That's spicy. Damn. What gives you that idea? You wrote a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. Uh oh. Uh oh. Monica reads into her blazer pocket and pulls out a scrap of paper. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> this is not good. You don't say Natsuki writes cute things. That's not good. Wait, she isn't going to say something about the title? Uh oh. We'll give you permission to look at it. Uh oh. I had to find out who it belonged to. I mean, that's a fair point. I'm literally having to, it. Okay, I'm gonna pause the dialogue real quick, guys. I'm just gonna say, real quick, literally, especially Monica's text box. I don't know if this is fine. Monica's text box, the fucking green with the white text does not help. The lime and bright green color of the text box, it's not helping. I can barely read the damn text. I'm having to literally lean in to OBS to read the dialogue because I'm not, I'm not looking at the game, I'm looking at OBS while recording this because i'm trying to make sure everything like i said in the last episode 
I do this for this for this series specifically because I want to make sure everything's capturing fine, nothing freezes. Because in the first episode, my cam froze like twice, three times. I'm trying to make sure that doesn't happen again in this series, in these episodes. So I'm watching OBS while recording, not watching the game. So I have to literally lean in to read Monica specifically. Everyone else is fine. Monica's, I can barely fucking read the text. I hey, your cupcakes, your poems. They all scream cute, just like you. Oh, sir, that's a bold line. Oh, fuck, Sayori, that's a bold line. That's bold. So it slides up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. Uh-oh. Okay, sorry, you're asking for it now. You're asking for it, Sayori. I'm not cute. Sayori cut Natsuki some slack. Eh? But a lot of people who think being called cute means they're not being taken seriously. I mean, that's a fair point, but still, like, it's true about Natsuki. Yeah. At this point, it's true. Like, seriously, the fact that face game froze two or three times in the first episode of the series it just triggered me. It triggered me, honestly. It made me m have the need to look at OBS while recording so that way I can make sure things don't fucking freeze on me. Ronatsky, you write. Well, I ain't get to read it. The question seems to disarm her a bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess sometimes. Okay. Why do you care? I just ask because I do on occasion. It's quite an interesting change of pace. I guess so. I guess so. Mm. I don't have any poems, but what I do have, I'd gladly share with the club for critiquing. Alright. I mean, then do, do some critiquing, buddy. I'd also like to see yours if I can. Ooh. Yeah, I figured she'd say no. I figured she'd say no. Color comes to her cheeks. Really? How come? You wouldn't like them. Oh, really? Would we not? Would we really not like them that much? Eh? Would we really not like them that much? Okay. You know, let me actually move face cam. Actually, no. I'm gonna keep it there so I can still read all the dialogue. I pick up both Parfait Girls and Portrait of Markov. If I can be reading both of these and enjoying them equally, what makes you think I want to enjoy your poems? That's a good question. That's a good point. That is a good point. You know, I'm gonna try and speed through some of this. I understand that Natsuki feels. Sharing level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities, and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have reading experience too, Yuri? Maybe you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Oh, I want to read everyone's poems too. After a few seconds of silence, I clear my throat. Turning to Monica, I hold up my hand in imitation of the gesture Monica would make in the game. Okay, Monica, I have an idea I want to run past you. I think we're thinking the same thing. I don't doubt it. Oh, uh, why would you two just make? <laughs> oh, why would you two just make Hattori? It's obvious you like her. Oh my god. <laughs> you really want me to kiss one Slender? <laughs> exactly. Meiji, don't bring up things that you don't agree to, you dumbass. Huh? No. Well, there you go. I have an idea, everyone. Natsuki and Jory look quizzically at Monica. Let's go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we'll sh all share them with each other. That way everyone is even. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Plus, a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Meiji? Well, it gives me a knowing look. Okay, bro, what's with the sly look? What is with that sly look, Monica? What the frick? The sl is that really needed? Is that needed right now? Like, do we need that right now? Okay, she's being as subtle as a brick through a window. AKA not subtle at all. Well, considering I never said, I freeze. All the girls looking at me expectantly. You know what? That's a good idea, and I'd love to contribute. As your newest member, her eyes light up even Nazis. Whoa! Oh! Let's go. Let's go. Really? Yes, I'm so happy. So after arms around me to. Okay, say or. So you get up here. Uh oh. Uh oh. You're not just joining for the cupcakes, right? Not at all. They're they're a good selling point, I'll give you that. But I do want to try something new. Sarah so seems to enjoy this club after all. Then let's make it official. Welcome to the literature club. Oh, is Monica left handed? No, there's a piece of paper in her hand. I take her hand and shake it. The paper, the paper slipped into my hand. Thank you, Madame President. As we release hands, Monica asked me something new. Hey, Meiji. Yeah? So I mentioned while we were coming here that you read Sense and Sensibility, and you confirmed it earlier. I raised an eyebrow. Yeah, I have. Why? I was wondering if I could ask your opinion on something. Is that okay? This wasn't something that was part of the game. See, you're already changing things. 
It's been a while since I've read the book, but sure, I can try. Well, it's just about Edward keeping his, enga keeping his engagement a secret from Eleanor, was he right? I still say he should have told Eleanor. <laughs> okay, I don't know that. Okay. Damn. The same depression that Monica isn't just asking about the book, it might be that she wants my opinion on secrets. Like the one she's keeping from her clubmates. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I should have told Eleanor, remember that he isn't perfect. No one's perfect. Literally, no one is perfect. We enjoy my girl novels so much if the main character is completely OP. I mean, fair enough. It was done in an interesting and unique way. I'm glad Face Game has been frozen because I'm actually looking at the game for once, um, for the video right now, and I'm surprised that the Face Game hasn't frozen yet. It was done in an interesting and unique way. I finished notice all the girls are looking at me, but especially Sarah, who looks completely dumbstruck. Ah, uh, sorry, I didn't mean to go on a tangent. No, it's okay. Thanks for your opinion. Hmm, I guess when you put it that way, it kind of makes sense. But he still should have said something. It's a slippery slope either way. But at least they ended up together in the end, right? <laughs> yeah, there's that. Fish the end. Okay, right up home. Mark looks over at me. Maybe I really, really look forward to seeing how you express yourself. And get better si I grin and salute. Will do, but Okay, I begin to clean up. Mm, her hand lay- Okay, bro. Bro. Oh, my. Your words are more than enough for us. I mean, me- Ooh, I per oh, on purpose. Okay, okay, he's slick. Okay, I purposely used the plural and that's if I made a mistake. Let me at least do something. I feel a sudden headache. I clutch my head. Uh-oh. I watch Gil as the girls clean up. After a few minutes, the room's clean, the girls head out, all except for Sayori. She comes back in, hoping that I might be tickling you, tricking you like that. This is friend. I don't mean any harm, but you're just looking out for me, and I appreciate it. Is it my fault that you're sick? Why would you think that? Sorry, why do you think it's your fault? Why did you give me snacks today? And no, that's not why. I bought that egg sandwich for myself. That one's all on me. I. Besides, you didn't make me. I wanted to get you snacks. All right. Major begins to feel guilty when he sees her tears. Hugger. For once, I agree with it. Hold it close, stroking her gently. It's mostly to get me sick. Nothing you did caused this. You know what's best for me, after all, I bet the hugs still looks like she's about to cry. Do you want to watch a movie with me? Good move, Sir usually likes happy movies. I'm not surprised. Okay. Oh boy. You know what? Head back out to the living room. Okay. I'm sure we'll pay out. she smiles. They made a movie? They made a few movies. It's famous in an old book, after all. I saw the DVD player, then sit back down. Sir sits next to me. Hop through the movie, the door opens, and Meiji's mom walks in. Oh, hey. Burn. Okay, and yeah, I can put it back to normal. Okay, so they're watching a movie. There's a sports drink. Man, now I want to get right. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Club members, I'll explain later, Mom. Alright, what are you watching? Is that Sense and Sensibility? Yep. Oh, I know you love. You know I love that movie. She sits on the couch. We can start over if you want. <laughs> Seen enough as a I. Slips up the drink until it's gone. Meiji even seems to enjoy it. The movie ends around 7 in the evening. Oof. I'll see you to the door, dear sir. Thank you for everything you did today. I really did have fun. <laughs> You're welcome. Here's my walks to the door where the two say their goodbyes. You see, you told me later. Well, it's later. Oh, well, I explain everything that happened. Oh, yeah. Bringing the whole club over? It's crazy. Oh, yeah. It makes them worry. Dang. A fan owing and overprotective. <laughs> hey, at least you got a caring mom. Honestly, I'd rather have a sort of overprotective mother and a caring one than have one that is not very protective and kind of neglectful. I'm, ju I'm just, I'm just saying. Not from, not from personal experience. Not absolutely not from personal experience. But just saying, putting it out there. I don't fall asleep, but I might have. Somehow, my head is in Minigo's lap now. I'm not sure what happened. <laughs> Don't read more manga and go straight to bed. Uh, uh, I really want to keep reading Parfait Girls and that other novel. He sounds reluctant to admit that last part. We can do that tomorrow, in the club. Yeah, you're right. He sounds excited. I say and grab the books. Oh, so he's excited for club. Okay, that's good, I guess. It does seem good, though. Honestly, for this mod, for the club members, the player, everyone, things are seeming good, to be honest. They're seeming really good. 
Oh, for the long day. You're telling me, so plans for tomorrow? Which is my fucking poll, Monica's now. We need to talk at your earliest convenience. Look. Aww. Aww. Well, that's kind of wholesome. It says, love, Monica. Well, so we're going to meet with Monica at some point. Alright, but when? At our earliest convenience, obviously. I put the note in the bag. Good night. Turn the pops on the bed. Okay, so Monica wants to meet with us. Interesting. Wednesday. Okay. It seems like every episode I end up ending, like, in the bedroom scene of the mods. So I guess I'll be doing that again. Either way. We go for this episode of the DLC World of Dreams mod. Um, yeah, sorry, brought the club to our place. This thumbnail for the episode is probably gonna be a little bit different because I want to make it more interesting. I want to make it more eye catching. So, I'm probably gonna make, probably gonna try and do some work on the thumbnail, make it look a bit better and more eye catchy. So, I guess you guys will see that change in for well, for this episode, not in, but for this episode, the thumbnail. By the way, hope you enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like down below if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new to one more content channel. If you want more Doki Doki mods, more of this mod on the channel, or Nintendo Age of Calamity gaming, like all the playlists going on right now. If you want more of that type of stuff, then be sure to subscribe, click on that bell to turn on your post notifications. And also, in the, in the next episode, as we continue, um, I guess, head to school for the first day of, I guess, the game, and or I guess the first day of the game. And head to club and see what Monica wants with us. I am assuming that I probably already know what's going on. And my god, I've let that go on for too long. Shut it off. Finally, Jesus. I can't believe I put with that for the entire outro for this. My that must have been annoying as all hell. I apologize, guys. But I'll see you all next time as I continue onwards and see, I guess, what Monica wants and what's gonna happen in the next episode of this series. I apologize for the delay. It's been over a week since the last episode. I do apologize. I've been recording other videos and I've been busy with other things, so especially with college work and general work. So yeah. I put to make this series a weekly series. Don't expect it to be daily or too frequent. But hopefully it'll be a weekly series. Hopefully on Fridays. We'll see though. We'll see you all next time as we continue on and just see what lies up ahead. I'll see you all in the next episode of DLC World of Dreams mod. I'll see you all then. Peace out.